Hi, Peter Charles here, Folks for Life Fly Fishing. And today I'm going to do a simple steelhead fly uh, that I've come up with myself. And the purpose for this fly, oh, I should tell you what it is. It's called the all black. And you notice it's not all black. It's got other colors in there. And you're saying, okay, why is it an all black? Well, if you followed rugby at all, you've heard of the New Zealand All Blacks. And they wear a black uniform, but their emblem is a silver fern. So I thought, you know, it's kind of cool, black. So I thought, well, why not? And it's kind of a shrimp style, so I did it on a, a double hook, but of course you could do it on a single if you want. Uh, the purpose for the fly is to handle a particular kind of water condition we have in my local river, where early season it can be quite murky, but you can have a bright sunny day. So you want something that's black to, to show up in the, in the uh, murky water, but you want something with a bit of flash on it as well, so uh, you know, you know the, the sun will shine on it and give you a little bit of flash on it because it is still bright. And the thing about in those conditions, the fish are pretty active. And uh, as I say, doing it on a double allows me to get down with just a, a fluorocarbon leader. I don't really need anything else. This will get down on its own just from the weight of the hook. So let's get going and start off by looking at the materials. Okay, I'm using a partridge double salmon in a size two. Uh, as I say, you could use, you know, something like this, uh, Bartlett Supreme, if you wanted to go with a single hook, that'd be fine. My thread is this Vivas uh, 8 aught black. The rib is a uh, Uni French silver. The body is Uni Mylar gold silver, and we'll be using the silver side. The tail is black uh, bucktail. The hackle is black saddle hackle. And the collar is going to be Guinea. And we're going to be using this silver Arctic Fox uh, that's dyed black. So let's get going. Now, a good way to save your fingers and to save your thread is to put a piece of tubing over that other point, like that. And that way, when you are wrapping thread or you're pushing material on, you don't uh, either cut your thread or jam your fingers on the other point, which I have done plenty of times when tying on doubles. So let's get started. And now, oh, I should mention, we're going to be using speed techniques here. So this is not pretty. It's get it done, get it fishing. You'll get your thread started. Now for your tail, as always, pick from the top, not the bottom of the tail. Get the short stuff out of it. There we go. And you want roughly something that's twice the length of the hook. So I'll trim it off. Okay, now for our rib. Now for the mylar. You just hold this all together and wind back. Just bring it all the way back to the start of the bend. Then wind forward, and you'll notice I'm using wide turns, widely spaced turns, and there's a reason for that. Uh, I've talked about this in other videos. If you make a beautifully flat, smooth body, your mylar will go beautifully flat and smooth. If you have widely spaced wraps, it's all bumpy, and it creates little facets, and they shine and sparkle, which is what I'm after. So sometimes the neatest way of doing something is not necessarily the best way for fishing purposes. Okay, now we're going to do the body. And get a wrap in there. Let's just avoid that tubing. Nice and evenly spaced. Right 
right to the end. Couple of turns. Bring it underneath to finish it off. Clean that up. Now for our rib. Again, a turn right at the back and come forward. Now for our schloppen, and you can see how I prepared the feather here. Uh, just create a little tying in point. Let's pull that back. And for a hackle pliers and fold this over, pinch it, because you want it to point backwards. And what you want to avoid is you getting trapped underneath. If you've not worked with schlappen before, it's quite soft and it can be coaxed into position. Make sure your turns are close together because you've still got the guinea to put on here and the wing. There we go. And what we'll do is we'll push this back and put a few wraps in there. There we go, that keeps everything pointed backwards. Now for the guinea. We're going to do the same thing. We prepared the feather with a tying in, tying in point. Can we get our hackle pliers? And we fold this all back. Pinch it. Of course, you've always got one that won't go. There we go. bit sticking up there, we'll just trim it off. Bring your thread to the back.
And finally our uh, Silver Fox. Uh, usually has a natural curve to it, so just try to find the, the curve and work with that. Don't go with too heavy a clump. Nice straight hair, see if you can find them. Pick through it. Now you've got a load of short hair in here, so you know, stroke it out, get rid of it. So you want the wing roughly the length of the tail. Uh, just pinch that off. I'm going to cut it. There we go. We get some strays, get them out of there. I get a few wraps in, make sure it's straight. Okay, just a little bit more. There we go. And now to let it finish. Okay, there's our all black. That wing looks like it spikes up a lot, but it's soft material. It'll flatten down in current, no problem at all. The idea behind the guinea is to fluff up whatever's behind it, plus the guinea tends to spike out in slower currents, and it really vibrates. It looks quite good, almost looks like rubber legs, and its stiffness helps the material behind to move because it creates turbulence. So. I, as I say, I've tied this for those sunny, murky, su sunny days with murky water that we get a lot of in, in October and early in November. And so this is what I tend to use. It'll be used on a straight fluorocarbon leader. That double is enough weight to get it down, no problems. But if you want to tie it on a single, go for it. There's no rules here. I just did it because it's, a, it's like a shrimp fly. And, uh, so, and shrimp flies are often done on doubles. So give it a try, uh, the uh, all black. Think of the New Zealand All Blacks. That's what it's for. Yeah, check out a game if you've never looked at rugby before. If you like football, you'll love rug rugby. Anyway, there we go. The All Black. And uh, we'll see how we do with it come the fall. Cheers. Beautiful fish. Beautiful.